Coming up on Takedown with Chris Hansen. Get on the fucking ground! This man's tears aren't going to save him from what's about to happen next. Do you speak English? Más o menos. Well, General, there's something you need to know. Como se dice en español, this is Takedown. I'm Chris Hansen. I want you to get a good look at these folks because these are people that thought they were going to come have sex with children. They came to a strange undercover location thinking that they were going to encounter a 13 or a 14 or a 15 year old child. They're dangerous. If it weren't for the outstanding work of the men and women of law enforcement, they absolutely would have attacked children had it not been an undercover operation. The undercover investigation led by Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd is Operation Child Protector 4, and I'm embedded with the multi-agency task force to apprehend child predators. A sheriff's detective posing as a 13-year-old girl is contacted by a man going by the profile name of Chino. She fills me in on the details so far. What do we know about this first visitor tonight? He's 35. He works for a power company. And he's coming to meet a 13-year-old. So he's 35 and he's coming to meet a 13-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. And has he been specific about what he wants to do with this girl? Yes. He wants to have sex with her, make her squirt, um, and rub and kiss her vagina. He uses a slang word, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and he also sent a picture of his penis. Of course he did. And, and, and there's no doubt he knows or he believes he's talking to a 13-year-old. Yeah, I've reiterated it several times. Um, asked him if he was going to bring condoms because I didn't want to get pregnant. And... He's told me several times that he will. He works overnight, and then he actually called into work today to tell them he was going to be late because he's coming to meet me. Got it. The man on his way wanting to have sex with a 13-year-old girl is actually 40-year-old Yaro of Kissimmee, Florida. The task force and I get ready as the outside surveillance crew radios in Yaro's movement. He's coming back. He's coming back. back. So that was him. Come. He said, come outside. For the decoy's safety, the task force meets Yaro at the door and takes him down. Get on the fucking ground! Stop resisting! Stop fucking resisting! Stop resisting! Hey, I got right arm. I got left. I got left. All right. Get left arm around. Stop resisting! Stop moving, man. Listen. He puts up a fight. The team quickly gets him secured, and like many men before him, the tears and begging begin. Yaro is led into the sting house where he's read his rights. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Sheriff's deputies are going to process Jero, and then we'll get a chance to talk to him next. During processing, Yaro is searched, and in his pockets they find condoms and lubricant, a clear indication of his plans for the night with an underaged girl. Jaro, Jaro, come on over here and have a seat, will you? Yaro claims his English is not very good, so the task force brings in a translator for my chat with him. Why did you come here tonight? <laughs> 